What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. It is a new release day, and we already filled up 2019 Panini Select Football. It is a six-box, half-case break. Pick your team's number one. And again, all XRCs are randomized in one lot at the end of the break. Remember, all cards ship. Number one and number two are from the same case. Remember, this is a six-box, half-case breaks, guys. Uh, so number two will be from the same case. And that is already down to 12 left. So Select is a very popular product, very pricey product. And it's some cool stuff, guys. So here you go. Here are the customers I've got in here. Six box half case break. Five got Colts, last spot mojo. All down to Patrick with the Redskins. There you go. And here is the case. One second, guys. Gotta label my knives now, guys, because if not, then people just take them. So now I have it in my office now, just hiding. Alright. I'm gonna put some fire with this U line, like neon colored one. Alright, guys. So here you go. So, six box half case break. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six on the left side, six on the right side. So the way we'll do it, guys. Roll one of Joe's dies. If I roll a one, two, or three, we're gonna go with the left side. Four, five, six with the right side. It's a one. So one, two, three. These ones here will be for number two and I'll have them right here to the side next to me I know honestly that's a good idea I know a lot of people do that but we should right we should brand out do everything mugs we already have t-shirts but mugs everything right All right, here you go. Get two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. today series two hockey drops today and the fast break edition of optic just dropped today we don't have too much of that guys so honestly grab your spots now because optic fast uh, fast break was extremely extremely limited we legit may only have that five box break for today um i think we're getting more maybe later another day but honestly that fast break uh, optic is just extremely limited. Very short printed too, so that might be our only fast break uh, break today. And there's a ton on the website, Frank. A ton on the website. Total picker teams and random teams. Start off with Tyler Boyd, seven out of fifteen. Nice little tie dye for the Bengals. Jeffrey, there you go on the board. Love the tie dye. Three color patch as well. Patty Mahomes. 
Secure Barlet. That's a little uh, silver. And Jerry Tillery to 149. E Hop and Jameis Winston relic there for the Buccaneers. Going to Michael. Yeah, your bongles. What do other people like to say? Bangles? How they spell it? Riley Ridley? A little silver? Montez Sweat? To 175. Will Daniel Jones. And wow, look, there you go. Rookie XRC card. And that is a Prism Redemption card 303. QB3. Wow, that could be like Justin Herbert or something. That'd be pretty cool. So the way this usually works, guys, is uh, QB number one, whoever gets taken number one, goes to that team or goes to that person player. QB number two, QB number three. As the polls have been saying, if it's Burroughs, Tua, could be Justin Herbert, but we don't know where he's going to be playing at. But as it says in the um, in the item description, all those XRCs are randomized in one lot as well. So, again, as it states here, all XRCs are randomized in one lot at the end of the break. So depending on how many we get. I don't think this is the autograph. This is just a future Prism rookie card that they'll make. They do have autograph ones, though. Lamar Jackson. Actually, they might even be trying to say that. MVP year. Adam Thielen and Darnell Savage Jr. to 189. So everybody will have a shot at that, and then depending on how many we actually uh, get... We will uh, randomize it in one lot. And look at that, a little die cut of Chris Carson gold, 8 out of 10 for the Seahawks. Going to threats. There you go. Adrian Peterson, contract renewed for another year. 35 years old at the end of the next month. And still playing at a very high level. Devin Singletary. Quinn Williams to 149. And we got a redemption. That's a normal redemption. Let's see who we got here. We have Rookie Signatures Green Prism. Card number three. Marquise Brown for the Ravens. Joe Howard with that one. I have no idea what green prisms are. I know gold's out of ten. Well, we have some, those two pick your teams are on the website. Yeah, I was going to say, hold on. Green is, oh wow, green is out of five. There you go. Check this out, guys. So, rookie signature prisms, green is out of five. So, gold's out of ten and then black 101. There you go, nice. It's an out of five, Hollywood Brown right there. Nice. Very, very nice. What a great loaded box so far. Nice.
Great first box. Break is not going to be at any targets or anything like that. They're only sold at hobby shops and online retailers, like the big ones, like Blowout, David Adams, Steel City. So you're either going to find it in your local card shops or at those places. The only time you ever find stuff at Target or Walmart is the retail stuff. So like mega boxes, blasters, retail boxes maybe. Fastbreak is not a retail box. And I think now Fastbreak boxes are like what, over $400 now. It's crazy. It's extremely limited too. So, like I said, that might be our only five box break we actually have today. Uh, will you see the favorite Dungeons effect of Perron? No, I don't think so. I think, uh, it'll be a separate thing. I think, I think, uh, it's just a future one they kind of make separately. I don't think it affects, I don't think it affects, like, when they make Select 2020. But, I think they just make a special XRC for them. Uh, Hockey used to do that too with, uh, I forget what product it was. They used to do, like, future XRCs and they just made a, a special one for them. Oh, Portfolio had an XRC, that's what it was. Portfolio Hockey, 2015 had that. All right, next box, guys. Terry McLaurin. But it is going to be a cool one to get, though. People will definitely want to buy that. So, like, people, you might get a lot of money, right? Like, if this said QB1, this might sell extremely high right now because everybody's like, oh, it's going to be Joe Burrow. It's going to be Joe Burrow, you know, which it should be. But, like, the hype would be to sell it now. Obviously, you can always just keep it to redeem it. But I know some people would like to just, like, sell it now just so they can get make a quick buck. You know? Like, oh, man, I gotta get that Joe Burrow, you know? Because that's basically, like, his first card. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow, another Tyler Boyd. This time, just a relic. There you go. Speaking of the Bengals. Man, is Joe Burrow gonna bust an Eli Manning and just say, I'm not gonna play for you guys? Isn't that crazy if he does that? Yeah, it is a cool idea, honestly. Yeah, it's true. I remember when it came out for 1516 for hockey, that broke a lot of 1516. Um, when McDavid's rookie year and Portfolio came out and he had the XRCs, like rookie number one, people already knew, like, it was Austin Matthews. They're like, oh man, that's going to be an Austin Matthews. So I remember those XRCs selling for a lot of money because people already projected him being, like, the number one overall pick. Oh, points, guys. So everybody have a shot at that as well. An Easton stick to 199. Look at that. Future starting quarterback for the Chargers, maybe? Kevin with that one. I mean, he could say that. I mean, look, at the end of the day, he doesn't have to sign the contract. You know, he can say, I'm not playing for you guys. And the Bengals can play hardball like they did with Carson Palmer. Say, all right, if you don't want to play for us, then don't play in the NFL. You know, because that's the one thing. When you get drafted, you don't have to sign the NFL contract. But just know that you are basically owned by that team. You know, you have the player rights. So somebody would have to come in and just try to, like, blow the Bengals away with the trade. Or they do like a draft day trade, you know? You know, I know a lot of us don't agree with that. Like, he shouldn't do that. You know, be lucky you're playing in the NFL and this and that. It's just that money talks too, you know what I mean? Like, him being the number one overall pick, he's going to make a ton of money. You know what I mean? 
It's it's the one thing. It's like money talks. They say that now, but you know, you're gonna get like twenty, thirty million dollars guaranteed just for being the number one overall pick. Hey Joe, what's going on? I know, man. I, I know we don't really usually announce it, but I don't come in on Friday, so I don't really do early release days on Friday, like around noon. But I do come in on Wednesday, normal time from like twelve to eight. So around this time, I usually do a lot of background stuff, uploading breaks to the website for jazzies.com, creating breaks and stuff like that. Um, just kind of helping all around the store. So on Wednesdays, I'm able to break early for new releases. But yeah, you know what I mean? And it's kind of just like when it came down to Bo Jackson, right? Didn't Bo Jackson have controversy with um, who's the one that drafted Bo Jackson? And then they were the reason why he couldn't play baseball, right? Because, and then he said, I'm never going to play for you guys ever again, right? So they owned his rights for a very long time until he was able to sign with Oakland and stuff. So again, Joe Burrow is not really going to have his own choice in a way. But, like I said, we'll figure it all out. I mean, what, like you said, too, like what if something happens in the combine and he doesn't perform well or something? He might drop. Like, his stock might drop. Who knows? The combine coming up at the end of this month can determine a lot of things. A pro day. But I think we all know Joe Burrow is probably the best quarterback coming out of this draft because he is like a fifth-year player in college. Like, think about that, guys. Lamar Jackson is still younger than this guy. You know, he's been playing in college and bounced around, you know, from Ohio State to LSU. So he's already mature. You know, he's like 24, 25 years old already, right? He's ready. You know, some of these other guys, like Tua is only like 21. You know, Justin Herbert is like 22. They're, they're, they're much younger. Sam Darnold to 49. I don't know. I mean, I get the Bengals aren't the best team, but... You start with your franchise quarterback, you get that person, then you help build around him. You get a line. You know, you, you get some weapons around him. And if he's really that good, you know, like let's say a Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, those guys, Drew Brees, you don't really have to have so much talent around you. You, you make the talent better, you know? That is the way I see it. Joe Juan Williams to 99. That's for the Patriots. Jonathan Kent. Yeah, Frank, I mean, that's still a little ways to go, but I'm sure we will do something similar to that like we did for the Super Bowl. That won't happen until around June, so we got a little time to plan it. But I'm sure we will, man. Andy Isabella to 75. Little Jersey Auto for the Cardinals. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, the Bengals are in full, like, you know, full mode of just restarting everything. So, you got to go get your guy. You know what I mean? You got to convince Joe Burrow, like, you're our guy. Nice Johnny Unitas. Um, and we're going to build around you, you know? Because to me, I get it. You kind of want to go into a situation where you want to be at a better team, more talent, just to make your transition easier to the NFL. Because we've seen it in the past, like David Carr, right? Gets drafted by the uh, Josh Allen to 75. Gets drafted by the Houston Texans, and they did not put any talent around that guy. And just destroyed that guy his first couple years there and kind of really affected his whole career. But at the same time, like, if I'm Joe Burrow, I want to be that – exactly. I want to be that person to put Cincinnati back on the win column. I want to be that person to – to change everything around. You know, I don't want to go to a team that is already established or enough where they just need me. You know, you want to be the main focal point of that organization, be the franchise. And I don't know. Something like that tells me if he doesn't want to, like, go to Cincinnati, meaning that he wants to kind of take it the easier way, you know? I don't know. That's just how I see it. Wouldn't you want to be that guy, you know? That's just how I would think of it. I want to be the one to bring a chip to Cincinnati, you know? Do that.
Yeah. I mean, Joe Burrow's been in that college for like five years. <laughs> it's because he's bounced around, he's redshirted, and he's had to like sit out a year. But, yeah, he's older than Lamar Jackson. I mean, he's honestly like 24, 25, you know what I mean? So, that's why I think, still think no matter who is that. Like, I love Justin Herbert. I'm a big Oregon Ducks fan. I think he's going to be really good. Um, you know, Tua, with his gruesome injury or his, you know, big injury, I think he's really good too. But he's only been in the, a starter for three years. You know, it's just Joe Burrow's just much more mature than these guys. He's he's been around for a while. Yeah, I mean you you gotta think though, man. The Bengals haven't been that horrible. Like, I feel like if like those years with Andy Dalton, didn't they make the playoffs like five, six years in a row? Like we're all acting like the Bengals are like the worst team in the world. Like they haven't been that bad. <laughs> like they made the playoffs, like Let's talk about another team, like, you know, I was just saying anything down, like, to Oakland, but, you know, when was the last time Oakland's made a playoff, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, or if these other teams haven't made the playoffs in so long. I know they had a very horrible season last year, but you can't make it seem like they're, like, the worst ever. Mason Rudolph to 35. Oh, yeah, you're lying. See, that's, that's what I'm saying, like, and we're over here saying Cincinnati is just the worst place to play. I mean, I guess on paper. But, I don't know. The NFL is just weird like that. Like they say, right now for long. <laughs> People will just drop you right away. Jason Witt in the 25. Look at that for the Dallas Cowboys. Future Hall of Famer. Cowboys. SKS. There you go. Murray. Wow, another one. QB number two this time. Wow, we're moving up a lot. This is great ones right here. QB sell. <laughs> so you have QB number three and QB number two. Remember, that's also uh, a given away in one lot. Could be Tua. Tua Tagovailoa. And Mike Williams to 35 for the Chargers. Kevin with that one. Odell Beckham Jr. Trace McSorley to 175. Yeah, it should be them too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the other guy too. Uh, what's his name? Uh, is it from Northwestern, I believe? But it should be those two, for sure. Patrick Peterson, another Mike Williams. What a Chargers last two boxes. Marquise Brown, a little silver. Oh, yeah, sorry, the Utah State guy. That's right. What's his name? It's blanking my head right now. He might be like a crazy, like... Crazy good in the NFL. Payne Manning. Bryce Love. Yeah, I don't think he'll climb that high either, but he could have a good NFL career, though. To 175, Will Greer. It's a rookie. Alright, guys, cool. Two more boxes. Alright guys, so again, the second half is already down to like 12. That'll be from the same case as this one. The other six boxes that are right over here to my left. I'll do a little hit recap, Tyler. Hey, Jalen Hurd is another one that could prove people wrong. I think prototypical NFL quarterback, he doesn't fit it so much, but at the same time, this is the new NFL and as we can see, Lamar Jackson has definitely improved with the right coaching. And obviously, he's he's like not bad for a running back, you know. So, 
It's a, uh, I don't know, it just depends. He's obviously might not be a first round pick, but you, I mean, again, there's other quarterbacks that you don't gotta be a first round pick to succeed. But again, I don't know. It's kind of tough for that guy. I think his couple years at Alabama, he was good enough to win for them. I think he's definitely improved though, going to uh, going to Oklahoma. You know, I think he regained a lot of confidence, and he may prove people wrong. But I don't think it'll translate just as much. You know, when they when Alabama really needed him to needed him to pass the ball, it didn't really work out so much, and that's when they brought him two, and it all changed. But again, at Oklahoma, he had a much better season, much more confident. He got a little bigger, right? Put on some muscle. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe he translates to another position. Yeah, I mean, that is true, right? They almost won three Heisens. At one point, we were thinking, wow, Baker, Kyler, and this other guy is going to win the Heisman. But again, it's just kind of tough. But in the NFL, we, we watched today. If you get the right coaching staff for you and, and, and uh, you know, James Conner, the 49, nice patch. Create a playbook that's perfectly fit for you. You could succeed. Ty Johnson. Hurt to watch get someone in. We got a cleat last night? Who was it? Patty Mahomes. A little silver. I'm sure these boys sell for like five bucks. Not more. Wouldn't doubt it. Jacoby Myers. But we'll find out, guys. I think the scouting combine is always a good time to watch. Watching their pro days. Wow, what a break for the Chargers. A tie dye now of Easton Stick, Jersey Auto. Very nice. Kevin, have yourself a break, man. You'll be down here March 8th on Monday? Nice. What are you doing down here? What are you doing down here? Adele Beckham Jr., little Brett Favre, number to 35. One off the jersey number, of course. Five out of 35. Ryan Finley to 149. Oh, 400 points. Don't want to show it though, guys, because people are savages now. Just take the codes. Irv Smith Jr. Getting out of B Town. I gotcha, I gotcha. Pat Tillman, 11 out of 99 for the Cardinals. Oh, man, that's like the worst, Roger. I feel you, man. You get him for like, you said, 8 out of 10 times and nothing happens, but then you don't get him and that's what happens. And Delvin Hodges to 149. All right, guys, last box. Do a little quick kit recap as well. For all the relics, autos, and I'll skim through the number of cards. Remember, guys, the second half is in the store. And, uh, we got fast break up as well, guys. That might be our only fast break today. Take you a torta. Nice. I love tortas. Yeah, I know, dog. That series two is really nice. Series two has some great players. Some great rookie young guns this time around. And again, that's that's one of the uh, marquee cards collectors like to collect when it comes to rookies. 
their young guns get the whole rainbow. It's the regular young gun, the canvas, the clear, the acetate, the uh, exclusive to 100, the high gloss if you can, though they only make 10 of those, but young gun collectors are pretty, pretty crazy collectors. Alright guys, last box, good luck. We got uh, Julius Peppers. Sorry, Miles Sanders, there you go. For the rookie selection silver. Rashawn Gary. And LaShawn McCoy, 2 out of 99. Ooh, another XRC. And this time, this is tight end number two. Remember, guys, this will all be given out in one lot. You smell a four diamond card? Or a black diamond? Let's get that black diamond going. One second, guys. Let me just uh, put these all together. How nice and safe on the side. Ray Lewis. And we got for the Bengals, 13 out of 15. What a break for the Bengals. Damn, Jeffrey, there's your Bengals, man. You got two receivers for the Bengals. Patch autographs. Nice. I'm not too sure. I mean, it might have been too expensive, maybe. That's probably why. But again, at the same time, if you buy both teams in both halves, I mean, it still is a full case in, in a way. But I have no idea. Maybe we didn't get too much. Maybe a lot of people are doing half casers. I have no idea. I didn't post this, so. That's usually what it is. It's probably a little too pricey, so we just split them up in half casers, and if someone wants to get them in both halves, then pretty much is a full case. Marquez Valdez Scantlin. Montez Sweat and ooh we got a Justice Hill and that's a gold rookie coming up. Nice. Seven out of or sorry, six out of ten. A little gold. Ravens. There you go. Teddy Bridgewater, Christian McCaffrey, Russell Wilson, Jacoby Brissett to 199. Alright, should I have one more hit here somewhere? There you go. Hermaine Herman or Hermaine Moore? Lions old school? Eight out of fifteen tie dye auto? Troy Lyons going to Miles. And wow, another Eastern stick. Jeez. One, two, three, four color tie dye patch. Man. 25 out of 25, too. And you pretty much got like every Eastern stick you can get out of here, probably. <laughs> nice break for you. Another rookie 
silver. Alright guys, well there you go. That was the break. Quick little recap. So I pretty much penny sleeved all the silver rookies. All the numbered cards are going to be here. We'll top load those uh, by the shipping team a little later today. So a lot of rookie color as well. A lot of die cuts. As you can see. Tons of different things. Select looks really sharp this year. There you go. A little uh, Terry McLaurin. And here are the hits right here, guys. That we just got out of here. So here's a nice patch, jumbo tie-dye to 25 Easton Stick. Hermaine Moore to 15, Valdez County Relic, AJ Green, Jersey Auto to 15. Josh Allen Relic, Mike Williams Relic, my three color patch of James Conner, number to 49. Jameis Winston Relic, Tyler Boyd. And the Joe Juan Williams Rookie Auto for the Patriots, Easton Stick, Jersey Auto for the Chargers, Andy Isabella. And then you got a tie dye of Easton Stick, number to 25. Um, Mike Williams, Pat Jersey Auto, Jason Witten Auto to 25. Marquise Brown, this is out of five. Signatures Green Prism for the Ravens. And Tyler Boyd tie-dye patch auto, seven out of 15. And then we did have a couple points. So with, this is how it's gonna work, guys. The points, the 400 and the 250 are gonna be put in one lot. And as it states in the item description, guys, the XRC redemptions are gonna be randomized in one lot. So tight end number two, QB number two, and QB number three all in one lot. So everybody have a shot at this. So the way it's going to work, number one gets the XRCs. Number two gets the 250 uh, points and 400 points for a total of 650. So there you go. Good luck, everybody. And remember, guys, all cards ship on this. And I'm going to write this on the sheet. There you go, guys. Good luck, everybody. So let's set up a quick randomizer. Put dice list. Remember, number two gets the XRCs, and number one. Sorry, number one gets the XRCs. Number two gets the uh, points. There you go, guys. So let's click dice roll, and it's a one and a four five times. Good luck. One. Two. Three, four, and fifth and final time. Five times. Saints and Raiders. So Saints, number one, is going to get the XRCs. And that is Jeffrey Peace. There you go. You got the XRCs. Congratulations, man. One of the last three, four teams he took to help sell this out. So Saints, you get the XRCs. And Oakland Raiders, which is David, you're going to get the points. There you go. Appreciate it, guys. This is Select Picker Team number one. Remember, the second half of this case is Picker Team number two. And as you can see, we're already at 12 left. We can get that going. Another new release today is Optic Fast Break. We're at 13 left there. And another new release today is Series 2 Hockey at 25. Visit our website, guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll be breaking here all night till about 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern uh, with me and Joe. Appreciate it.